Hey guys, welcome to a review of the Android 7 Nougat operating system running on a Sony Xperia X. Now as you can see this is the Sony Xperia X and let me just show you the model number and the Android operating system version. Uh, so if you head over to settings you can see the model number of this phone is F5122 which is the Xperia X dual sim variant. It's running Android 7 Nougat and the Android security patch level is 1st December 2016. Uh, which is actually a later version than the one running on the uh, Xperia XZ. So let me just show you that. If we head over to About Phone, you can see the Android security patch level is a much more recent version on the Xperia X. So in this video I'll show you guys the features that are new to the Sony Xperia X and we'll do a little bit of multitasking to see how the phone performs when it's under load. So first off, let's talk a bit about the camera. The manual mode on the Xperia X has been updated to match the manual mode of the Sony Xperia XZ. So if you remember, uh, the manual mode on the Xperia X did not have manual settings like the uh, manual focus you can see now the Xperia X is capable of doing a manual focus and also you get a manual shutter speed uh, this is pretty useful in low light conditions you can increase the, increase the shutter speed to one second and uh, set the phone on a proper surface and take amazing low light photos I've already tried this with the Xperia XZ and trust me guys it's it's an amazing feature works perfectly uh, you can see the camera is almost identical to the Xperia XZ now. So yeah, previously these manual settings were not available, now they are. Uh, and generally the camera feels a lot more, lot more fluid, so to say, a lot more responsive. Let me take a few pictures. right so let's try taking a video this is a test video on the android 7 nougat update this is the sony xperia x right so let's play that video back this is a test video on the android 7 nougat update this is the Sony Xperia X. You can see the recording is working fine. I can hear the sound from both the speakers. Uh, let's see the pictures that I just took. So this is my PC. And you can see I have zoomed, zoomed in all the way and you can still read the uh, model of the motherboard. So let me just increase the brightness. Camera on the Xperia X is fantastic. So here you can see. and that is all the way down there all the way you see it in the picture absolutely amazing camera another change you'll notice in Android 7 Nougat is that the notification and quick access bar is slightly different so here you have these quick toggle icons you can turn on and off the torch, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, airplane mode and location. You can customize these icons if you want. Drop down the notification bar and you'll see this cool cool new animation. And here are all your quick settings. You can remove these icons, you can change their change their layout. And you have this cool option of inverting the colors which looks absolutely cool and then you can press edit over here to change these icons so for example uh, I want to add screen mirroring over here now you can see screen mirroring has been added to these quick access icon I can press back and you'll see screen mirroring will be there and one thing I noticed Android Easter Egg 
let's see what this is I'm seeing this for the first time that doesn't do anything See, it's just a blank screen, doesn't do anything. So if I change it to fish, see if it does anything. Nope, it does not do anything at all. Alright, moving on from that Easter egg which does not do anything, uh, let's go ahead and try out some multi window. Alright, so say for example I want to open the Chrome web browser wait for it to load GSM Arena and I want to open a Word document type on new blank document so to use the uh, multi window feature you gotta tap this square icon over here and now you can drag and drop apps just like this so it says drag here to use the split screen just drag and drop like this and now you can adjust the uh, space you're giving it to the app so let's open the word document now you can see I'm working on my word document as well as browsing the web which was not possible before so this comes in really handy if you wanna copy paste something so copy, now I can paste it over here. So you can see it is working. And it's asking me to set a screen unlock password. But anyways, uh, this is working. You can adjust the amount of screen you give to an app. But do keep in mind, not all apps um, are capable of doing this split screen feature so album is working but for example camera doesn't support split screen feature and the show app does not support split screen so if I hold this you can see app does not support split screen so uh, I think it's the uh, same problem with Instagram if I hold this you can see app does not support split screen so it's up to these developers to uh, develop compatible apps that can support this uh, split screen feature but let's go ahead and load up a few applications so that we can test out the uh, performance of the phone let's open powerpoint open a presentation can see it is working it's rendering the uh, pages no problem and let's go ahead and go back to the Chrome web browser no problems at all mm, what else I can open camera it is running music you can see both of these speakers are working And these are the tracks that I just downloaded off of the uh, YouTube music library so that I can use them in my videos. So Play Store is also open now. And yeah, this is where I get my wallpapers from. A lot of you people keep asking me where I get my wallpapers from. So uh, this is the app called Wallpapers for me. Let's open YouTube you can see all of these apps are open and no split screen feature does not work really well when lots of apps are open because uh, some of the apps does not support split screen and yeah if the incompatible app is open it will work it won't work perfectly so where is my chrome the chrome is open and if i want to use so yeah, it is working but yeah it wasn't working on my xperia XZ 
but yeah, it is working fine. I can shuffle through apps right over here. Let's see if the music app works. No, music app does not support split screen. And this is working, but it may or may not work, so just a little bit of warning over there. So this is pretty cool and you guys can see multitasking is working with this phone absolutely no problems at all so if I want to go back to my PowerPoint presentation here we are it is running in the memory no problems the word application has refreshed but here we are back again yeah everything is working fine absolutely no issues here is my album app here is the video I recorded as a test video on the Android 7 NuGet update this is the Sony Xperia X and mind you guys the speakers are pretty loud uh, they're, they're I think the same as before absolutely no change in the loudness of the speakers Let's launch a couple of more applications. Mm, everything these are running. I don't want to open email. Might have some documents over there. Uh, you can see the phone has it slowed down. Um, it is working fine. else I can open over here so here we go guys a lot of applications are running in the background so I'm gonna go ahead and resume the web browser you can see no problems at all so I'm gonna go back to camera working no problems Yeah, my keyboard is a little bit dusty. Gotta clean that up. Anyways, Word document. And again, Word is reloading itself. But here is the document that was open. And open it, open it again. All papers for me application. It's also reloading. It is working, no problem so anyways guys uh, everything is working fine you can see there is absolutely no issues with the phone uh, no issues with the phone multitasking is working fine so thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any suggestions if you want to ask me anything uh, leave a comment down there and I'll be more than happy to answer you guys so see you all later thank you for watching